Huh, it's Mr. Lee. Hello? Peter, it's Martin Lee. I just wanted to let you know we need a little extra time to get set for May's party. I guess the cake delivery is stuck in traffic. Oh, sure thing. Just let me know when you're ready and I'll swing by. Great. Talk to you soon. Hi, Mr. Lee. Hey, Peter. We're all set for the party whenever you're ready. Cool. I'm on my way. <sighs> Mr. Lee's probably in the kitchen, getting ready for the party. Hey, Martin, so sorry I'm late. You were right on time. Just keep her distracted while we get everything ready. You got it. These past few years, you helping me through college and working here, and sacrificing so much and asking for nothing. I just wish there were more people like you in the world. He's right. Five years ago, you walked in here and told me you were inspired by my mission to help others. Now it's you who inspires me. Thank you, May, for everything. Here's for many more years of service. Thanks again for setting all this up. Oh, I just wish I could do more. Well, May's always told me if you help someone... You help everyone. <laughs> yeah, maybe we should send May to City Hall to have a word with the mayor. Oh, I gotta run. Um, thanks again for the party and everything. It, it, it really means a lot. It means a lot to May how much you trust her. She's earned it. I couldn't have expanded these centers without her running this one so well. I get the impression you're not a fan of the mayor's. His better New York leaves behind people we help. I know his son's your friend. I'm sure he's a fine man. Less so the father. What made you want to open the center? I was orphaned as a boy. It was hard. I know what it means to need help. I want to provide that help. Huh. Looks antique. I think I know someone who could help track down where this came from. A job for later. Looks like I got some free time. Maybe now's a good time to look into that mask. Wow, oh, it's MJ. <clears throat> hey, MJ. You're up late. Just catching up on the news. Looks like you had quite an adventure with Shocker tonight. Yeah. He was unusually combative. Anyway, thanks again for dinner. What do I owe you? How about a favor? You still have that mask from the gallery? Yeah. I'm actually on my way to the Feast Center now to ask Martin Lee about it. Martin Lee? Why? He has a degree in art history. If anyone knows about the origins of that mask, he will. Just keep me in the loop. Like I said, I think there's a bigger story here, and I plan to be the one to break it. Uh, sure. So I can call you, like, whenever? Yeah. Whenever, whatever. So I guess we're talking again. Cool. Almost morning. Mr. Lee will be here soon. I could use a snack. Mr. Lee's usually in his office now. Peter! What can I do for you? I'm sorry to bother you, Mr. Lee. I have a friend, Mary Jane. She's a reporter. She's doing a story on art imports, and she found this piece. Well, she wanted an expert opinion on it, and I know you have a degree. And this might be the first time I actually get to use it. Let's see what you have. Interesting. Where'd she find it? I'm really not sure. Why, what is it? A replica of an antique Chinese opera mask. I haven't seen one in years. This symbol here roughly translates to demon. Demon? 
Uh, my father read me ghost stories with that mask and symbol in it when I was young. Scared the hell out of me. Peter, listen. That mask, it's... It could be connected to dangerous people. Mary Jane might want to find a different story. Do you think she's in trouble? I don't know. Why take the risk? Hey. The symbol inside the mask means demon. It really spooked Mr. Lee. Never seen him like that. He even said you should drop the story. Fat chance. Do you think Mr. Lee knows more than he's letting on? No, I think he just had a weird flashback or something. I know his childhood was pretty traumatic. Yeah, that makes sense. Demons, huh? Catchy name. Okay, gotta get writing. See you soon. Well, that went about as well as I could have hoped. Peter, Mr. Lee spoke to me. He seemed worried. Are you into something dangerous? Oh, it's just a story Mary Jane's investigating. Don't worry. I'll make sure she's careful. Please tell me you two are back together. We're talking again. Baby steps. I hope I didn't upset Mr. Lee. He's just concerned. I was actually touched by how concerned. I knew he liked you. He admires how dedicated you are to helping others. I think you remind him of himself when he was younger. Both orphans, both so smart. Well, the admiration's mutual. You've got a good boss, May. I'll tell him you said so. Love you, Peter. Martin. Sorry to interrupt. Just wanted to let you know I'm headed out of town. You're in charge while I'm gone. Well, you can count on me. How long will you be away? Uh, really don't know. Is everything okay? It's some personal business I've been planning for a while. But please take care of this place. It represents the best part of me. Well, I guess I better get busy. <sighs> Hope Mr. Lee's okay. Yes? I've worked many years for this moment. Who is this? Over the coming days, your company, your city, and everything you care about will be destroyed. People will beg you for help, but you won't be able to save them. <laughs> Listen, jackass, I get threats like this twice a week. Why don't you grow a pair and tell me what you want? To watch you suffer. to leave now. Dad. I'm busy. What's up? Have you started looking for Martin Lee yet? No. I told you I can't start a manhunt based on a hunch from Spider-Man. But I'm telling you, he's the guy. Get me some solid evidence and we'll talk. Solid evidence. Right. What about the police? Do they have any leads on you? They're not even looking for him. Even Yuri doesn't believe me. Then it's up to us to find him. I've been doing some research. Go to this address. Martin Lee bought a controlling interest in this recycling center last year. You think he's hiding out there? Maybe. We know he's not at Feast. If he's not at the recycling center, maybe you'll find some evidence as to where he might be. Yeah. Good work, MJ. I'll let you know what I find. Oh, oh, one more thing. I talked with a detective about questioning the arrested demons. They're all claiming Martin Lee has the power to, quote, corrupt people. Corrupt? What does that mean? They say it's sort of like mind control. It brings out the negative part of you. It makes you do things you wouldn't normally do. Huh, sounds a little far-fetched. This is coming from a guy who can run up walls. 
These must be where they're planning to attack. Wait. These are Osborne campaign offices. This wasn't a gang war. The demons were stealing from Fisk to go after Mayor Osborne. Hey, did you find Lee? No, but you were right. Lee's using this place as a front for the demons. Bomb making, gun running. Oh my god. And it looks like they're planning another attack. This time on Norman Osborne's campaign offices. We must have some kind of beef with Norman Osborne. I found an address here. I think it's their staging area. If I hurry, I might be able to stop them. Be careful. Yuri, it's me. Make it quick. I'm busy getting yelled at by my boss. Martin Lee and the demons are planning another attack, this time on Norman Osborne's campaign offices. Are you sure? We've had a lot of false leads in the past week. Trust me on this one. I'm sending you the address of a recycling center. You'll find all the evidence there. Got it. I'll get those campaign offices evacuated. But if you're wrong about this, you're gonna help me find a new job. Hey, MJ. I think I stopped the demon's attack on Osborne's campaign offices. Nice. Did you find Lee? No, but I found something we should look into. A place called Pale Horse Rides. Sounds familiar. But I'll check it out and get back to you. Hey, MJ. Hey, so I dredged up some records on Martin Lee's other business holdings. He's got places all over the city. Huh. The locations line up with a map I found at that shipping business. I'll check them out. Let me know what you find at each one, and I'll work on building a case. You got it. I'm headed to Lee's office at Feast to see if I can learn more about why he's doing this, and what he's got planned next. Okay. Say hi to May for me. Wait, you don't think she's in danger, do you? No. Lee's only got one target on his mind, Norman Osborne. Lee did so much for New York. I can't believe he was hiding such darkness inside him. That room I saw from the crawl space. It should be right on the other side of the shrine. Lee's journal. A key. I wonder where the lock is. Lee sounds conflicted. Almost like he didn't want to head down this path. Huh. The shrine in the photo is missing the picture. Looks like this note is for May. Lee really did care about May. Hope this means she's out of danger. This is the ghost story Lee's father read to him about a demon that could only be mastered through balance. Yes! Whoa. Lee sure is obsessed with masks. Is it a Jungian thing? Like, he needed to pretend to be someone else to let his darkest feelings out? Pretended to be a demon until he became one. Lee's giving his powers to the others. How does Lee imbue these with his power? Bioelectric induction? Compressed phase shift? This is all about Norman Osborne. His whole career. Lee must have been obsessed with him. I can feel my power growing. Feeding off my anger. Father would say I've lost the path of balance, but he could never understand. The only way to fight a monster is to become one. Oh, this is the folder MJ found at the auction house. This might help us figure out what Lee's planning next. Hello, Peter. Mr. Lee, I thought you were out of town. Did you find what you were looking for? Martin, you're back. You get that. Thank you. And heading off again shortly, I'm afraid. Just needed a few things from my office. You must have heard about City Hall. Yes. Tragic. Peter was there. He was very lucky. And an Osborne rally. I didn't know you were a fan. Well, 
What matters is, you are both safe. Amen. But the bombers are still out there. Who knows what they've planned next? Oh, I don't think you or May have anything to worry about. As long as you stay away from places you're not supposed to be. Well, I should go. When will you be back? When my work is done. Wait, wait, wait! I finally got your evidence. Head to the Feast Center in Chinatown. What am I going to find? A nice lady named Mae Parker. And some really weird stuff hidden in Lee's office. But listen, he's got another attack planned. Where? When? Still working on that, but I think he's going to use something called Devil's Breath. Sounds destructive. What is it? A substance created by Oscorp. Probably a bioweapon of some kind. I have a folder full of info on it. I'm holding on to it for now. I'll send copies as soon as I can. Okay, we'll check his office. If the evidence stands up, I'll put out an APB. Wait, remember how you told me about Lee's corrupting touch? I think I just saw it in action. How? Some perfectly nice homeless people just jumped me. Thing is, they had glowing eyes. And I remembered Yuri telling me something similar about the guard who released Shocker. So Shocker was working for Lee? <sighs> it's all connected. Who are you? You recently began working with someone in an Oscorp lab. How do, you, how do you know that? We don't have much time, Isaac. Tell me his name. Show's over, Lee! Apparently the show's not over. His name, Dr. Morgan Michaels. Thank you. So did Lee. Oh no, what happened? Lee corrupted him and made him kill himself. That's horrible. We have to stop this guy. We will. Before Delaney died, he gave Lee a name. Morgan Michaels. Morgan Michaels? Who is he? Not sure, but I bet he works on the Devil's Breath Project. Welcome aboard, Doctor. Sorry! Lee, hand it over! Thank <laughs> you. 
entering fluid. What's your status? Have you apprehended Lee? Working on it. I quite want to kill you. I'll take this. What are you doing to me? Giving you a new perspective. Must be honest. I was hoping to bring you here. My abilities lend me a certain persuasiveness. I've been watching. I was waiting for you at City Hall. You never came. Where were you? Is this real or in my mind? It was a shame so many had to die with no heroes to save them. That officer saved your life, didn't he? He was here because of you. And Norman wanted to use him. A futile gesture, in the end. And where was Norman during all this? Slinking like a rat. He knew what was going to happen, and he fled. Norman is a hidden cancer on this city. He must be excised with no trace of his corruption to return. Norman hides behind his mask of lies. I will break it apart and drag him into the light. Put on the mask. Become one of us. Thanks, but no thanks! One way or the other, you will join me. Uh-oh. Victims you couldn't save. Martin, their blood is on your hands! You can stop Oswald. You have so much strength. I can give you the will. Lee. This will be easier for everyone if you remain calm and do as I say. Police! Over here! No!
Mayor Osborne's office. I would like to speak to Mayor Osborne. Who's calling? The man he is looking for. What do you want? I want you at Grand Central Terminal in 30 minutes. You're by yourself. Or there'll be more blood on your hands. I'm on my way. Are you hurt? No, I'm fine. Just hurry. Going as fast as I can. What are you doing at GCT? I'll explain later. Listen, Lee's going to release the Devil's Breath. You gotta get out of there. He's not gonna do it until Norman Osborne gets here. Wait, this must have been Lee's plan all along. Make Norman responsible by forcing him to release the Devil's Breath himself. Sort of makes sense, in a twisted, psychotic way. Okay, I'm here. Coming into the terminal now. Anything I should be on the lookout for? Looks like he's got some drones patrolling. Guess he's prepared for you. Don't worry, I'm in the ventilation system. Can you see a safe exit point? Please. Northwest corner. On my way. Nigga, Jesus, I nolly. Gotta get past him. I'm ready. Renji, hi, dear Bejama. Do it. Start the timer. Lee's getting away. Finally. Sorry I'm late. It's kind of my thing. this paying off an old debt No brakes? No problem. Uh, it totally worked last time. Yuri, they still doing construction on 42nd and 1st? Streets closed for another month. Why? <laughs> Hmm. 
Next stop, prison. did it. Lee's off to the raft. The Devil's Breath is safe with Sable. How do you feel? How do I feel? How much time do you have? Not much. Heroics for you means paperwork for me. But I just wanted to say, good job. Thanks, Yuri. I kind of needed that. All well, this time with Lee, I've been ignoring the city. Time to get back to being a friendly neighborhood spidey. I should check on Miles. Hey, Pete. Hi, Miles. I just wanted to see how you're doing with the news about Lee. Look, if you didn't want to work there anymore, me and I would understand. I did want to quit when I heard. Then I remember what my dad used to say. A hero's just a guy who doesn't give up. That's true, assuming he's doing the right thing. I got you that job. I'd hate for you to keep doing it if you think it's wrong. Oh, the people here... Nothing Martin Lee did is their fault. They need help and I'm helping them. I think Dad would want me to stay. I think he'd be proud. I know he would. And Miles, I'm proud of you too. Anytime you want to talk, just call. Thanks, Pete. Gotta go. May just gave me a list of all the supplies to get. All right, later. So have you heard from Mr. Lee since? No. But the Martin I know couldn't have done that. Whatever's become of him, that's not the one I want to remember. New polls are in. Mayor Osborne's approval ratings have spiked since Martin Lee's arrest. He seems a shoe in for re-election. I've got one of his supporters on the line. Speak! Mayor Osborne's got my vote. He got Lee and recovered the WMD. He saved us. And Spider-Man had a lot to do with... Let me stop you right there, because you're obviously not seeing the big picture. Yes, the threat was averted, but how did things get to that point? Where did this devil's breath come from? Why does Spider-Man always seem to know things before we do? The threat's not really over until we know it won't happen again, and I'm not exactly up to my mustache in confidence. Mark my words, it's no time for New Yorkers to let their guard down. It's an exclusive club. If you don't want to. We definitely want to. Each of you has a job to do. Your debts will be repaid when we're done. Go!
told Silver Sable to do whatever it takes to find Lee and Octavius. So she's just rounding people up indiscriminately, holding them captive in bases around the city. I've even heard rumors of enhanced interrogation tactics. You mean torture? <sighs> Martin Lee. Can't believe this is the same man I knew at Feast. Looks like Otto recorded messages for his crew. Oh, Martin. When I first realized it was you targeting Osborne these past weeks, I was shocked and saddened. But then, as the situation evolved before my eyes, I felt... inspired. You took the bold steps I had always dreamed of, Martin, and you took them without hesitation. I am honored now to join you on this path towards true justice. Seems like Otto and Lee have more of a history than I thought. How long have they known each other? GR27 Martin Lee incident. What is this? And we are rolling. I will be right next door. Just relax and let the medicine do its work. They created Lee. I, I have to get this. Open it. This ends tonight. This is insanity. I have to find a way to reach the Martin Lee I know. The man who built Feast. No way to go but down. did to me! You're more than your past! Don't let it control you! I tried so hard to make my parents proud! To honor their legacy! Honor them? Osborne must see justice! I won't let you do this, Martin! Lee's pain, 
His anger. It's fueling his power. sample. You, Martin! Don't let revenge win. Fight it!
okay. I know. But this is the wrong way, Martin. Useless. 